dear students welcome to another video of scientific foundation of health that particular question paper will be discussed for the set two model question paper so i have already downloaded the question paper from the website of vtu let me display the second set of question paper of scientific foundation of health which is prescribed by the university so let me share the screen uh, to all i hope the screen is clearly visible to everybody so let me move on to a model question paper set 2 of the subject scientific foundation of health which is having one credit moving on to the first question please read out the first question and try to understand a mentally sick person has which could be the right answer tendency to get upset with the change of routine feeling of friendship and trust uh, for all tendency to perform all the daily chores by oneself tendency to solve all the problems without aid of others which would be the right answer a mentally sick person has tendency to get upset with a change of routine i would like to select the option a question number 2 a person is mentally sick if one is worried with the modes of fluctuating between the depression and the elation excessively happy extra talkative which would be the right answer actually uh, a person is mentally sick if one is with the moods fluctuating between depression and elation i would like to select option b hope these two answers are clear to everybody moving further community health aims which would be the right answer care of infants old care of uh, infirms improvement of health of all improvement of health of children which would be the right answer the care of infirms would be the appropriate answer for this question overweight in body mass index is which is the right answer question number 4 you have to select option b a overweight in bmi which is above 25 that could be the right answer please select option b similar kind of question we have discussed i think you are remembering in the previous uh, set question paper cause of obesity and overweight energy imbalance energy balance energy imbalance between calories consumed and calories ex uh, expended none of the above question number five i would like to select option c energy imbalance between calories consumed and calories expended because of over calorific work because of one person is having the food without exercise that may lead uh, the obesity because of uh, uh, this kind of fatty items and all it may lead uh, obese obesity fine it is one of the major uh, health disorder in the modern era which we can uh, many articles are uh, saying many of the journal papers are there related to this health i have seen many of the articles uh, the modern uh, especially these kind of symptoms are found in the children uh, because of the uh, modern routines all those things i think you might have familiar question number uh, six i would like to move on is addiction a mental disorder physical disorder both a and b none of the above Question number six, I would like to go for it's a mental disorder. It's a repeated question. I think same question has appeared in the set one also. Question number seven, what are the reasons for taking drugs? To feel good, to feel better, to feel better, and all of the above. 70, all of the above will be the right answer. Fine. It's a uh, general question. Question number eight, what states can do avoid addiction? which would be the right answer. All the same question already repeated. So I would like to select option D, all the above, like adding higher tax on sweet and beverage, uh, benefits uh, for organic foods, availability of healthy food. I would like to select option D. Question number nine, social health hazards include stigma, antisocial behavior, higher crime record, all of the above. Question number nine, D will be the right answer. I would like to select all the uh, answers. So option D will be the appropriate one. Moving further, question number 10, you can see what others factor increase the risk of addiction. So which would be the right answer? Question number 10. So C will be the right answer. Both A and B will be the right answer. Mental illness as well as early youth. Question number 11, why do some people become addicted to drugs while others are not? Uh, because so find out the reason. Aggressive behavior in childhood, parental monitoring, neighborhood, all of the above. So it may be a reason for any any anything. Okay. So I would like to select option D. So let me uh, move further. Question number twelve. 
what is protective factors for addictions positive relationship drug experimentation community poverty all of the above question number 12 the right answer is positive relationship that could be the right answer what is the protective factor for addiction positive relationship is the best answer question number 13 type of addictive behavior alcoholism drug op uh, drug opium opium you might have heard about that uh, opium war and all you might have studied in history no in uh, very very olden era video gaming all of the above question number 13 uh, all are belong to the addictive behavior c option d is the right answer Question number 14, mental health hazards includes anxiety, depression, organic mental disorders due to substances, all of the above. Question number 14, I would like to select all the above. Question number 15, how is substance use disorder treated? Multiple types of treatment, recognition of problem, alcohol drinking, both A and B. Question number uh, 15, I would like, I'm strongly uh, going for option D because uh, the substances use disorder treated as multiple type of treatment and recognition of problem. I would like to select option D. Question number 16 is very important. Hyper obesity values in terms of body mass index. Question number 16. So I would like to go ahead with the option C. Same question had repeated in the set one also. I think you are remembering. They, sometimes they may ask the full form of BMI. What is the full form of BMI? Body mass index. Remember that. So all the possible possible questions are there. Kindly uh, give caution. Question number seventeen. In future, which of the following will play a wider role in helping in the gaming industry demystify uh, the new uh, new sense of gaming problem? Which could be the right answer? So I would like to go for the code of conduct. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 18. Researchers, mental health professional, problem uh, gambling organizations, and uh, Casino industries have responsibility to problem gamblers themselves too, which would be the right answer. Same question I found that it is already there in the set one as well. Question number 18, I am going to select option D. Okay, this is the right answer. Please read out and understand. So I have already read and uh, found out because whenever it's reading, you know, it takes a lot of time. I uh, am giving the questions to you, try to analyze it. Anyway, right answer is option D. Then question number 19. That, that is also a very important question. What is the definition of overweight? Overweight can be defined based on the term body mass index. So if the body mass index is uh, like in the range of 19 to 29 kilogram per meter square, then we can define it as an overweight. We consider that particular range is considered belong to an overweight condition. Uh, last question for this particular session. Which of the following diseases does not obesity increase the risk of developing? Which would be the right answer? Question number 20, uh, which is the right answer? Please identify. Which of the following diseases does not, does, which, sorry, which of the following disease does obesity increase the risk of developing? Type 2 diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and of these. Definitely, I'm going to select option C, which is the uh, exact answer for this particular question. Time being, for the time being, let me conclude the session. The remaining questions will be discussed in the next session, which will be launched soon. So I request everybody to follow, to watch the video completely and make a note of your own words before entering to the examination, one or two hours before, kindly go through the things which you have noted down. That will really help you out to crack the examination. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. Let me conclude.